my scrappy friends welcome to my channel today uh, on this international scrapbooking day weekend um, this is what I am working on today so it is a combination between Spiegel Mom scraps so firstly I'm super super excited to be uh, part of this design team I'm like this is my first post I am super 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 excited um, if you've been following along on the socials you will see that um, there's a bunch of people, including Speaker Mom Scraps and Cut To You, doing this one challenge wonder. Um, so it is this uh, sketch created by Sarah. Uh, and that's what I'm working with today. I'm including cut files from Cut To You. Uh, and yeah, so what I've got, yeah, cut files from Cut To You and Spiegel Mum Scraps sequins. So... I knew I wanted to scrapbook this photo of myself. Um, I snapped it in January, 40, feeling good. So I just went, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to. I'm in a bikini, why not? Uh, and as I was looking at my paper stash, I saw this is the same paper, the back and the front. Um, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to make a really pretty girly page. So this is my plan. I'm going to use this as the... Um, the base and then this as my background um, I am going to remove the center of this because this is beautiful pattern I love it um, I do not have much well this is the only other thing I've got from this collection this is uh, pink paisley indigo and ivy I'm gonna use these gold um, stickers for my title but then I kind of went what can I match with that and I've pulled out a few bits and pieces from Coco Villa Studio Midnight Collection which I think like the pink matches really well and this wood grain is, I really, I'm really impressed with my choices. And then the two sequel mixes I've got here, I've got Modern Holiday, those pinks and dark blues and greys, and then these little um, clear bubble things, they're awesome, and Vintage Dowry. I don't know if these are available in the shop anymore, but anything that is available, I will link in, um, in, my description box below but that is what I'm working on today oh cut files these are the cut files that I've cut um, I don't remember the name of them but again they're from cut to you I've cut this one three times in three slightly different sizes and I've cut this one twice um, in exactly the same size I thought with this with the second one I might use like cut off just some of the leaves i'm just going to use those in my layers so that's what i'm working on today i hope you enjoy i hope that you are having fun with the challenges uh, and not trying to do all of the things all of the time because i've done that myself and it doesn't always work but if you are trying to do all of the things um let me know how you go but yeah so this is my take on this sketch by sarah for the One Wonder Challenge, I think it's called. Uh, so I'm gonna pop you on fast forward and I hope you enjoy. All right, so off we go. Um, like I mentioned, uh, I am super, super, super excited uh, to be bringing you my very first Spiegel Mum Scraps uh, process video. Uh, as you can see, I am just playing with how I'm gonna get this page set up. Um, and I have now got the correct name for this challenge it is the one challenge wonder so um i have gone off camera and done some gold stitching around both my photo and my background here you can see i've cut it out the center of that paper it's so pretty i love it uh so i'm gonna stick this down you can see i've just uh, ruffled up the edges i also distressed them using the blade of my scissors I'm just going to stick that down. I did have to go back in with some glue, some wet glue afterwards. So it is all stuck down securely. Uh, I am playing with the Coco Vanilla Studio Midnight Collection, as I mentioned. Uh, and so I am firstly going to pick out a few pattern papers um, to lay behind my photo. I don't know what happened then. I felt like this is all very, very soft. Um, which I, I don't mind. It's just not, um, me per se. So I wanted to bring in some contrast 
and I'm flipping through the 6x8 paper pad. That bright pink is definitely way too much. Uh, so you can see what I'm doing here. I've got the darkest blue that I'm going to layer behind my photo first. Um, and then that pink paper uh, goes uh, in an ombre from the really light to the dark, to the really dark, bold color. And so I'm going to use the lighter side of that. I'm going to cut down these layers for my photo. Add some foam behind there. And you can see I've distressed the edges, I think, already. And I'm pretty happy with how that's looking. So I'm going to start sticking my layers. So that one's on like straight. And then the next couple I kind of angle just a little bit. But not heaps. And you can see they're a bit offset. And then I've got my gold tissue paper. Uh, I felt like that gave a bit more contrast between the layers behind my photo and the background. I'm just going to trim that down with some scissors. And I really like the way that this is looking now. Uh, next, I am going to muck around a bit more with these cut files. And yes, that's how I like it. I'm like, okay, I'm going to chop some of these leaves off. And you can see I'm just having a bit of a play to see where I can tuck them in. I'm like, oh, I like that. Uh, when I do stick these cut files down as well, um, I don't stick every single bit down flat to the page. I don't actually want it to be flat. So I have basically stuck behind my photo so that it does lift up. I'm going to put a second flower down there. Um, this sketch that I'm working with, I really love. It's super fun. <clears throat> uh, Sarah's done an awesome job. So yeah, I'm just playing with these, uh, with these, they're not die cuts. Well, they are die cuts. With these cut files that I've cut, they're cut on textured cardstock. I'm pretty sure that is the Precision Cardstock by American Crafts. Uh, and you can see I'm just adding a few dots of glue behind, um, behind my photo so that I can have all this stuck together as one piece. Cleaning off because I had done all that um, distressing of all the papers. Now I wanted to add something to my background but with this pattern paper which is beautiful I didn't want to add too much. I didn't want to use gesso uh, and I didn't want to fade away the pattern that was on there because it, it looks watercolored. Uh, but I did want to add something, so I decided to pull out my Heidi Swap Gold Color Shine. I've got a dry paintbrush here, and you can see I'm literally just painting that on uh, with my paintbrush and kind of flicking it at the edges so I don't have any harsh lines. And I'm going to do the same down the bottom here. And you can see I'm just kind of very vaguely following the shape of what's going on top. I'm going to go in with splatters here. Do add lots of gold splatters uh, and I also come in with some pink splatters. I do save you the process of watching me. I tried I think seven different pinks to find the right color uh, and I ended up with this one which is um, which one is it? It is a shimmers spritz in cotton candy so I'm just adding in some splatters of that I'm gonna pop my background aside no I'm not I'm gonna work on my wet splatters as you do okay I've cut that down I'm going to add in uh, stick down this cut file and you can see I'm just applying adhesive just to the edge there and just sticking that down I I did have a little bit of trouble with it because of the stitching and because I'd um, lifted that edge up but I got there in the end now I've dumped out all of my bits and pieces from the midnight collection that I've got here I don't have much left which makes me a bit sad uh, but that is so that pink piece that I've got immediately behind like right at the back of the photo stack is actually a piece of chipboard it was one of the frames uh, you can see there was one that was almost exactly the same in the ephemera pack uh, on the right hand side there and the frame that's under there is pretty much the same as that off cut on the right hand side of my page. 
Uh, I have got these fussy cut flowers that are from one of the 12 by 12 pattern papers, I think, that I did try to tuck in. Um, and again, I think that I... I think I left some of this in for you to see that it didn't just come together for me. I really wanted to get some of these tags on. I tried desperately that other tag with the girl on it. Like I tried that for ages, um, but I just couldn't do it. I do, I do come up with a happy compromise though. So I just, I don't know what it was. I just wasn't loving the way that these flowers looked layered under there. You can see I'm fussing through, fidgeting around. Um, this was like the little terranium thing with the flowers. So I chopped off like the terranium bit and I've just tucked those flowers into the corner there. I'm going to try some more with some of these florals. Uh, the little leaf is fussy cut and the blue leaf twig stem thing is uh, a die cut. The little love heart banner is a die cut, I think. So you can see I'm trying still, trying still. I do not make you watch all of the mucking around. All right, so jump forward and I'm like, nope, I give up on that. Uh, I knew that I had these clear stickers. I was like, yes, I'm gonna use clear stickers. And I love the way these clear stickers look um, on this page. They, I love them. They look so good. I'm so happy with them. Um, and yeah, I'm, I love, yeah, I, I just can't explain how much I love it. So uh, I'm going to start sticking all my layers, well, some more of my layers together. Uh, but I'm going to stick my f this frame in directly to the background rather than try to move things. Uh, this is some more chipboard offcuts. I'm just sticking that to the back to lift up the other side. Um, and then that dimension behind the photo gives the di the um, flowers that I've cut my cameo more room to lift up on the edges, which I really love. I'm using these alphas to spell out my title, which is 40 and feeling fab. Um, they're not stupid shiny gold, like, wow, they're blinding gold. Um, I really like the size of them. And if you have never got pink paisley puffies, they are just the puffiest little puffiness. I love them. <laughs> Coming in with some more of these clear stickers because I love them. Um, really, really fun, easy way of adding mixed media without getting super messy, which is a nice change for me. I'm like, okay, I want to create three... Kind of working with that visual triangle again so you can see i've got the two of the um, florals up um, with the photo and then one on the bottom right uh, and adding that flower there move that sticker around it's one of the good things that i love about these um, clear stickers as well they lift up fairly well i'm going to come in with some little phrases that one says captured, and I think another one that says don't forget. No, don't change. And then I find happy, and I was like, can I add that to the photo? And I tried it over this little banner. I was like, yes, I love that. It's so cute. So I'm just um, adding a little bit of dimension to that. Firstly, by bending it up. Uh, and then this is some other chipboard offcuts I've got from Coca Vanilla. And I'm just going to add that. I add the glue and then realize that I haven't distressed the edges like I have on everything else. So I'm like, okay, I'll carefully do that. And that one says happy. Uh, I think I add, um, oh, I don't know if I add any more clear stickers. I don't think I do. Oh no, I work. Um, I end up with something on top of the photo. So I really like this pop of the dark blue. I decided it was too kind of different and then I really like this little diagonal stripe here so I'm going to muck around <laughs> with this off cut of a frame for ages again I don't make you watch that um, but I yeah, it goes in there so I'm going to distress that edge add a little bit of glue and stick that to my background 
and I didn't I, I really like the just little bit of extra it adds to those photo layers um, so I add that heart there and then I remembered that I have flare badges I'm like oh I can I can use the flare badge girl yes so I stick those two on there together um, I think if I wanted to add you'll see in a sec I pull the heart off and it's just the girl I think what I needed to add there if I wanted to add something besides the flare was probably um, a bigger embellishment but I didn't I just left it as a flare and I love how that looks I'm coming in with my sequins here so I'm starting with the modern holidays mix um, anything that's available I'll make sure I link for you um, in the description box below but you can see I'm just scattering these around randomly and I'm going to basically uh, glue them where they land almost uh, I use this mix and then um, when I looked at the second mix which is um, I can't remember what it's called uh, I didn't love it so I used some gold ones from Black Magic so those gold glittery ones so that is my first share for Spiegel Mom Scraps I am so excited to be joining this team uh, at, as I'm recording this I'm still waiting on my sparkliness to arrive in the post it's a long way from the US to Australia so um, I will use the stash that I've got in the meantime I hope that you've enjoyed I hope that you're enjoying uh, the International Scrapbooking Day celebrations that are happening all over the place uh, thank you so much for stopping by if you haven't already please like and subscribe and I will see you in my next process video. Have a fantastic, scrappy, international scrapbooking day.